Yo, what up, yo? It's your boy Shady C here. Getting ready to record for the first time ever. Playing the HQ mobile game. Now remember, everybody, this is that cool game where you can win money for answering trivia questions. See how good I do. We'll see. I hope I win this. That'll be tight. But, um, yeah, if you're interested, let me know and I'll send you my link. I get some free plays and I need me some free plays. But, all right, let's see. It starts at 9 o'clock. It's 8.59. So you ain't going to hear me talk until after the game. So we'll see how far I get. Watch along, people. Let's see what we do. Here we is. Yo, I just wanted to be silent for a minute. You can skip up ahead if you want to. Pass the two-minute mark. And then get into the game and whatnot. Where'd it go? Come on, yo. Trivia with questions about business, science, Ellen Cleghorn, technology, food and drink, Phil Hartman, history, Finesse Mitchell, Chris Parnell, featuring sports, Jay Moore, a short film by Albert Brooks, musical guest, Gautier, and your host, me, I. I'm Scott Rogowski, host of HQ Trivia, and we've got a fantastic show for you tonight. Godier is here. Stick around. We'll be right back. Hey, Godier isn't here? What about Kimbra? No? And we don't have commercial breaks. Right. I keep forgetting. But I know what we do have. We have over 990,000 HQDs, just about 1 million, live around the world, going head-to-head -head tonight, including the Jacob, Brooke Weissman, Rain, Jackie Maroney, and some birthday boys and goys, Pierre, Izzy Brill, Max Sutton, Sarah Cullum, Sebastian Levy, Nick Santucci, and Terry T. in Newbridge, New Jersey. Salt and pepper Terry T. up in the limousine. And I have a brand spanking new quiz for you this evening. We now have over one million in the game. 
And I have 12 USDA prime cut questions. You have 10 seconds from when I start asking the question to answer it. Get all 12 right, and you win fake Monopoly money. No, no, you win real United States dollar bills. 2,500 of them, in fact. That's 25,000 dimes, 50,000 nickels, 250,000 pennies from heaven. Or more accurately, from HQ. You could buy a 4K Ultra HD 75-inch TV just in time to watch the Olympic closing ceremonies on NBC tomorrow night, 8 p.m. With that kind of money. Yeah, it's a lot of money. And I got a lot of quiz. You ready for me, baby? You know, the Mets are, well, they were undefeated for 24 hours. Kevin Plowecki is batting 1,000 right now. Yes, but the real question is, will you defeat HQ tonight? Will you slay the Savage Dragon? Will you quiz with me and get some money? Do you, you feel like HQ? Well, then let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get this show on the road for Cumero Numero Uno. Where are you most likely to buy a loaf of bread? Bakery, knavery, or chicanery? Now, scientists speculate that the concept of bread might be over 30,000 years old. Hopefully, the challah at your local bakery is fresher than that. Holla at me. Bakery's your answer. Mm, mm, mm. And I'm trying to make that bread with 1,048,940 of you. Mm. The rest of you, half-baked. But we have 1,048,000. I, I can't eat all this. Throwing it down and getting lifted to Q2. How is a screwdriver most commonly used? Squeezing, twisting, or pounding? Was I supposed to eat the bread? Mm. I need a glass of grape juice. Well, whether Phillips or Flathead, you'll get the best results from your screwdriver twisting that sucker. Yes, driving that screw home. Shout out to all my handy H cuties out there. Handy men and women twisting and shouting to Q3. 1,027,328 of you are. For the rest, well, it wouldn't twist around that way. Your screws are loose. Hey, reminder, guys. Tonight we're playing for a little bit of bread. 2,500. Tomorrow night, it's a whole bakery's worth of bread. $25,000 tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern time. So hurry on back now, you hear? Put that in your calendar. Market 8, dude. Market 8. But we got Q3 right now. What was the name of SpaceX's rocket that launched earlier this earlier this month carrying a Tesla automobile? Condor Light, Falcon Heavy, or Hawk Bright? Hawk Bright, Condor Light. How many stars can I see tonight? Elon Musk is a living, breathing example of if at first you don't succeed, Come on. try, try, try again till you fly, fly, fly into outer space. After some very expensive failed attempts, he successfully launched this rocket on February 6th. Ground control to Major Tom. Ah, so beautiful, that rocket, just like its name. Falcon yeah. Heavy. What a name for a rocket. 645,153 of you are spreading your wings, launching on to Q4, rocketing on. The rest of you, heavy things falling down. You could not see. Q4, which of these establishments is not part of Philadelphia's great cheese steak rivalry? rivalry? Geno's, Pat's, or Benji's? Still got a little bit of this uh, <laughs> holla in my throat here. That great cheese steak rivalry of Philly. Yeah, when I'm in Philly, I go down, uh, down down South Street for gyms. That's just me, whiz with. But if you want to be a real tourist, you head to the intersection of 9th and Passyunk in South Philly, where Pats and Geno's have been battling it out for nearly four and a half decades. Nearly a half century there. There's no Benji's, though. Wait, I got no that Benji's. right. Yeah. No, no, no. 384,210. They're going down shore to Q5. Get a glass of water. The rest of you rehydrate there. Go put on a Hooters album. We get Q Q5 for you. Pete Rose belongs in the Hall of Fame. In the old days of broadcast television, a channel was either UHF or what? VHF, VHS, or VHQ. <laughs> for those of you just joining us, we're teaching poodles how to fly. Would it help if you knew what UHF stood for? Ultra high frequency. 
a band of local channels above the main networks, which were merely very high frequency, or VHF. VHF is your answer. 236,396 are tuning in to the next question here. You are A-OK. -okay. The rest of you, D-O-A. I'm SMDH. We got Q6. The, the Winter Olympia with the most medals competes in which event? Cross-country skiing, biathlon, or luge? We had over 1 million to start the game. We were down to just 236,000. And I think we're going to shave off a few more of you here. Super topical question. Because three days ago, Marit Bjorgen won her record 14th Winter Olympic medal, kicking her country mate, biathlete Ole Einar Bjorndalin, out of the top spot. Marit is a heavy medaler in cross country skiing. To all ski, 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 mother fathers, 117,035 of you, ski, ski, you are skiing on to Q7, hitting those slopes. By the way, both Marit and Ole, both from Norway. Who'd have thunk it? Norway, Jose. They're good. Q7, which Robin Williams movie is based on a novel? Dead Poet Society, Mrs. Doubtfire, or Good Morning Vietnam? I sound my barbaric yawp over the roofs of the world. That is from Dead Poet, named Walt Whitman. But if you tap Dead Poet Society, you're not seizing this quiz. Hello! Oh, hello! children yes mrs doubtfire is based on a 1987 novel madame doubtfire and madame daniel savage question at that sucks i could have sworn it was the other one but <sighs> i made it i did this this is the furthest i've made it since playing so episode one is down tomorrow they got what is that two hundred fifty thousand. we're gonna try for that one but as you know except for today i'm shady c and i'm always right Peace.